Hi, so in this video, I'm going to teach you the 3 volt, 5 volt power system. So this is one of the most important circuit in every computer. So this video basically is upon a request of some of my followers that ask me to make a video about 3 volt, 5 volt power system of computer because the most failure in many laptops and computers due to this circuit. 3 volt is missing or 5 volt is missing. Okay, so let's get started. So basically, basically this is how the 3 volt, 5 volt circuit looks like. So pay attention. If you understand just how to troubleshoot one 3 volt, 5 volt circuit, you can troubleshoot and understand any other circuit regardless of the type of the laptop because the working principle is the same and the component that composes this circuit is the same. So first, let's take a look and an overview about this circuit and after we gonna study it step by step. So let's see first the component in the circuit. So as you can see, for any circuit, you will find, as you can see, an IC, okay? So this is the control IC, as you can see. Here we have the control IC. So for every circuit, you will find a control IC. Okay. Then here we have two channels. So the first channel is for, as you can see, three volts always. Here we have plus three volts. Okay. And here we have another channel in order to generate the five volts, as you can see. Okay. So the 3 volt channel and the 5 volt channel. So for any channel, you'll find the same components. Here we have two MOSFETs, as you can see. So here we have two MOSFETs for this first channel. And for the second channel, also we have two MOSFETs. Okay? So if you have a motherboard, a real motherboard, you can just go to 3 volt, 5 volt circuit and follow with me you will find the same working principle and same component and same architecture so guys please don't forget that if you understand how to troubleshoot schematics and how to raise schematics you can figure out the problem and the issue of any laptop easily okay because when you, you know about how to use the schematic you can imagine and figure out the problems and when to test etc easily okay so here we have to control ic and here we have for the first channel we have two mosfets and also for this channel we have two mosfets and don't forget for any channel we have the input voltage as you can see we have here v in and also we have v in here this v in basically is about 19 volt okay and of course here we have some capacitors this is basically ceramic capacitors for each channel so the purpose of these capacitors is to remove the noise okay is to remove the noise and to make the signal or the voltage a pure voltage okay so then here as you can see we have inductor as you can see here for the first channel or the 3 volt channel we have pl12 the, the reference for the inductor is pl12 and for the second channel as you can see we have pl11 okay then we have the current sense resistor but before going to current sense resistor here the purpose of these two inductor is to increase the current of the voltage when you get here a 3 volt as you can see here we will get a 3 volt after receiving the control signal from the ic we will get a 3 volt but this 3 volt should have an enough current that's why here we have an inductor the inductor increase the current in order, in order to get a real 3 volt with a very exact current and voltage okay so we have inductors then we have here current sense resistor for the first channel and also another current sense resistor for the second channel so pay attention this current sense resistor terminals two terminals is connected to this IC as you can see so let's take a look 
as you can see. Do you see here? We have these two terminals are connected to the IC here and to say for the other current sense resistor here. So let's check. Okay, as you can see here. Okay, two terminals are connected here to the IC because the IC is the responsible to control the amount of current that is transferred to the output. Okay, then as you can see, we have here other capacitors and we have another diode. So we have here, so let me indicate these two capacitors. So basically here we have a chemical or electrolytic capacitor. So these capacitors, as you can see, as you can see for the both channels, has as a purpose to filter the current, to, to make the current or the voltage a continue voltage, okay? Then as you can see, we have a diode here. So this is basically a protection component here the diode is to protect the other stage or the other circuit okay that is feeded with 3 volt and 5 volt that's why we use this diode basically the diode is used here to protect the circuit do you see here the anode is connected to the ground and the cathode as you can see here is connected to the power rail Okay, so this is all about the 3 volt, 5 volt circuit. Now let's discuss how the voltage, how the 3 volt and 5 volt is generated. So let me go back. First, we have the V in here. So here we have the V in about 19 volt. The same also for this channel. We have the V in about 19 volt. So this 19 volt will pass through these capacitors directly to the drain of this MOSFET, okay? Also the same here, the 19 volt will pass directly to the drain of this MOSFET. So then here we will get 19 volt here. So do you see here, this is the drain because we have four pins connected together. And here we have the source. And here, this is the gate that is connected, as you can see, to the control. I see here we have drive high, as you can see. This is the drive high. And for this signal, we have the drive low. Okay, the drive means control, the control signal. Okay, so here we have 19 volt. 19 volt will pass directly through this MOSFET. But pay attention here. It's not the 19 volt that will be passed here the entire 19 volt no here we have 19 volt we will get here 3.3 volt you know why because here we have the control signal this signal controlled the amount the exact voltage that should be passed here in this case the 3.3 volt will be passed but for example in this case also we will get here 19 volt but this control signal will control the amount of voltage that should be passed to here in this case 5 volts okay so you can ask me a question here so why we use this mosfet i will show you why so we have here this mosfet i told you that we have here 19 volts this mosfet will be controlled or will be energized by this IC, by drive high signal, then a voltage will pass here. The exact voltage is 3.3 volts. Okay, so here we will get 3.3 volts. So what is the meaning of this signal MOSFET? So the meaning or the goal or the purpose of this signal MOSFET is adjustments, okay, or compensation okay so here we want to get here 3.3 volt but we get maybe 3.5 volt or 3.6 volt so this voltage will adjust this amount of voltage that we, that we will get here and in order to get 3.3 volt so that's why this MOSFET is connected to the ground in order to eliminate the residual voltage or the extra voltage okay that's why 
this MOSFET is here. So this MOSFET it also is controlled by this IC. We have the drive layer, as you can see. Okay, so here we have 19 volt. We will get here 3.3 volt by the help of these two MOSFETs. So then this 3.3 volt will pass directly through this component. So the first component here is the inductor. This inductor has as a purpose to increase the current. And this current, so this inductor will increase the current and here we have the current sense resistor and this resistor again will sense the current in order to make sure that the current that is generated is the right current and the exact current okay because if the, if you if there is a problem with the current the chipset here or the ic or other component of the circuit that will be fed with with 3.3 volt will be burned out okay that's why we need the exact current okay so inductor increase the current here we have the current sense resistor to sense the current and here the current will be filtered by this capacitor as you can see this capacitor will eliminate the noise and this one will filter the current in order to, to get a pure voltage and here we have just for protection this diode okay and finally we will get 3.3 volts okay. so the same for this channel so we have the first MOSFET as you can see here it will get here to control signal here we will get 5 volts this MOSFET is used to eliminate the residual or the extra voltage directly to the ground over here and here as you can see we will get 5 volt that will pass through this component as you can see so this is to increase the current here we have current sense resistor these two capacitors is to filter the current this is the protection component and here we will get plus 5 volts okay so this is all about how 3.3 volt and 5 volt circuit works and of course this is the main important component here the control ic so without the control ic this operations cannot be happened okay this is the control ic so this ic is the ic that control the exact voltage and current that should be generated that's why as you can see all components as you can see are connected to this ice including also this current sense resistor also the inductor as you can see we have here lx do you see here lx so here we will get for example we will get here 5 volt directly to here and also directly to here in order to be sure that we get the exact 5 volt not 6 volt or 7 volt or something like that so that's all for this video thank you very much guys and please don't forget to subscribe if you are not already subscribed and like the video because the like motivate me to make more videos and please share the video and for anyone who want more unique contents and to discuss with me one on one, you can join me on my Patreon page where I post daily uh, schematics and new schematics files for laptops and I can discuss with you and troubleshoot with you if you have any problem with your computer or, the, or with your laptop. So thank you very much Kant and please don't forget to like the video because the like motivates me to create more videos for you. So see you in the next video.